<laughs> All right, guys, thank you for joining me. This is going to be a special video because today we're going to talk about the pending FDA compliance policy. You might have seen a post, and in fact, I was unaware of it until my friend Eric over at Argo Biomedical Solutions, he posted a post about this uh, policy that's been in the works for years, and I had no idea about it. This is crazy. Uh, but it is going to affect some of you guys, or it's going to affect some of your customers. So please pay attention. And uh, this is your information so that you can be uh, a more knowledgeable biomed out there in the field. And maybe you can notify your customers before these changes take effect. Okay. So uh, first off, we're going to be talking about AEDs. And AEDs are automated external defibrillators. There's two different types, the type that you see in like a shopping mall and the type that your general sheriff's office and your uh, fire department's gonna keep. So there's two general types, but this compliance policy is basically gonna relate to both of them. So Eric, uh, can you explain me a little bit about what the policy is? And I know it's been going on for years, but uh, <laughs> what exactly is the FDA gonna try and ring out here? Yeah, I guess really to, to give the history on it, um, Back in 2015, the, the FDA uh, stated that to manufacturers that they needed to come to the table uh, with uh, their PMA or pre-authorized uh, agreement there to where you have to get or submit an application for your equipment. They gave, up, they gave them 90 days to uh, basically submit this application. Not a whole lot of time um to get their products authorized and those products uh if authorized would then uh be on a list if they weren't authorized then they had five years or 60 months to basically tell all their customers and the world that they're number one not going to be not going to manufacture any accessories so your pads your batteries all the things that go along with it are going bye-bye in five years well come 2020 they postponed it a year right so they went from 2020 to 2020 or i'm sorry february 2021 and then COVID hit so they right. postponed it another year to february 3rd 2020 too, which obviously is rapidly approaching now. So that's where we're currently at. So okay. um, yes, that's so the history. Basically, what you're saying is that it's a compliance policy. It's a pre-market approval. So if they don't have approval to be on the market, they can't sell their device and their accessories, which would be their batteries, the cables, the pads, um, which means all those, all those components, if you currently are buying from certain people, you can't buy those anymore. It's 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 not going to be allowed uh, if it's Correct. for a, an AD. Yeah, and it's not like okay. Yeah, and, and we all know it's not like you know February third. I mean, granted, we've had a long time to prepare for this, right? But right. it's an investment for customers. It's not like just you're, you're going to flip a switch on February third and everybody is going to have a compliant you know AED defibrillator. We all know that, right? So we know that you know we're in the service industry. We like to keep things going as long as humanly possible, right? And customers that own these things, uh, you know, they they want to hold on to their investment because they're going to have to invest in a new product. So right. yeah, that's that's pretty much it. But yeah, at the same time, you know, we're, we're just letting people know that, you know, even on lead times, I mean, Zoll has some of the fastest lead times, like it's like four to six weeks. I think the fastest lead time is on the AED plus specifically, but if you placed your order now, you're looking at, you know, a month and a half down the road of actually getting a piece of equipment, unless we're, we have it in stock, which sometimes we do, but the demand is obviously very high right now. So, um, yeah, that's, that's it in a nutshell. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's just very busy and, and hectic right now with these things. So we understand that it's not the flip of a switch. Uh, it's all going to happen at once. It's just, hey, you know, if you have one of these items that is not on the list, um, you need to do something about it because God forbid you have an event, uh, which you never want to, but if you do and you've got a device that's not on the list and let's say you even have expired pads because a lot of customers sometimes don't realize that the pads expire, yeah. <laughs> right? 
that uh, you could come down, you know, the road of uh, a very huge inconvenience. I agree. Well, uh, guys, it's going to be really interesting. Um, there has been a lot of different ADD type products that have hit the market in the last couple of years. There's actually uh, several products from China that uh, I've seen at like little clinics and stuff. So that's one of the reasons that we're making this video is to allow you guys, since you are going to be the representative for your customer, if you see some of these things in the field and it's not an approved item, I'm going to leave the FDA list in the description down below so you guys can take a look. And if it's an, if it's an oddball item that you've never seen before, which I did have one just a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I'd never seen this make and model before, but you know, they come in, but it's what, it's our responsibility to notify the customers and let them know that, hey, this is happening. And it's gonna be February 3rd, uh, which is three weeks away, <laughs> yeah. three weeks away. So, uh, but you guys, uh, the reason I found out about this is because you have just became a Zoll representative. Uh, so Argo Biomedical Solutions, they have supported this channel longer than pretty much anybody. And I have been so grateful about that. I follow you guys on LinkedIn, which is how I stayed up to date when Thank this you. type of stuff rolls down the line. And I just like to release this information to everybody else because everybody has to know. But what type of stuff do you guys sell for Zoll? So um, pretty much everything. <laughs> okay. um, but the one I know you asked me about the, the one item that's escaping me right now, but I think I told you that we do not. Right, um, that means the, the life band, it's, it's the auto you. resuscitator. Yes. <laughs> this is cool. literally, this is, uh, the, the distributorship is two weeks old. So it's still very fresh in my mind. Um, but okay. that is one item I did talk to Zoll about that. Um, they, they've got their own direct sales channels for that that device, uh, which yeah. is fine. Um, but we pretty much sell everything else, whether it's, you know, AEDs or, you know, full on AED defibrillators. Um, and all the accessories, um, you know, yeah. we are somewhat limited to whom we can sell to. Uh, we can yeah. sell to uh, pretty much everybody besides hospitals and EMS outfits um, okay. because they do have their own um, sales lines there, right. which is fine um, just yeah. because we do have a lot of uh, service agreements with smaller facilities that, you know, I mean, AEDs are just becoming part of like our culture, right? Like you see them everywhere. So um, a lot of our, our customers have them and, and requires service. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave Argo Biomedical Solutions, their contact info and their website in the description down below. If you guys have any questions about Zoll products, please reach out to them. If you have any questions about this FDA policy, go ahead and reach out to me, a better biomed at gmail.com. I'd be more than happy to do my absolute best to try and answer your questions. So thanks, Eric, very much. I appreciate your time, man. And, you know, I look forward to maybe doing it in a video with you guys in the future. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, guys. All right.